try making a Madeleine cookie. Basically, it's a French cookie. And I actually bought that Madeleine tray, and this is my second time using it to make this. Um, the first time I used it was actually yesterday when I made the first batter, and the outer part, as you can see, is burnt, and I don't know why, and I don't know how to make it look really nice and fluffy like you see those in a pastry shop or at Starbucks. They actually have a Madeleine cookie, and it's like nice and golden, and I can't seem to get that, so if anyone knows, please let me know, but... I think it still tastes good. Yeah, it's really nice and fluffy. <sighs> so I am crocheting and this is a hobby I started during quarantine or COVID this pandemic basically and I'm trying to create a red shoulder bag um, and so I'm trying to crochet and this is actually the bottom width I'm trying to make so I have to like make it a little bit thicker and I'm gonna add some straps after um, I create the base and the height to this so I just started usually it takes me two days to make it if I spend like all day working on it um, but actually I started crocheting really fast um i've had many other bags i made before like i've made this bag so this is a blue color with the straps here i've made um and this took me like a couple hours like that same day i made it i was crocheting to like 3 a.m but um this is the bag i'm trying to make similar to for the red one um, but this is more like the base I started is actually circular um, this one for the red one I'm actually trying to make it more of a square instead of a circular base so we'll see how it goes so an update um, is kind of twisted because um, when I was crocheting it I crocheted it a bit tight but I finished making the base um, and now I'm slowly starting to uh, create the height so it goes up, but the base is done. And actually this is my sixth, seventh, fifth, I don't know. Um, I had to redo the base so many times because it's actually very confusing on um, how many you need to stitch up um, for the roundness, um, for the width of the base to expand. So it was a bit confusing, but I think I understand and got the hang of it, but um, yeah, when it's a bit tight, it just says stretch it. This is a t-shirt yarn, so it's very stretchy. Um, so if you stretch it, it should work. But for now, it's kind of twisting, but I'm excited. So I think this is a good length. I don't want to make it too long because that's not really pretty. Pretty, but I think it's a good length and this is a new roll of the t-shirt yarn since I ran out of the first one like around here So I'm gonna add the straps here From both sides um, And this is actually the outer part or this is the inner part So I'm gonna have to flip this because the inner part you can see the crochet is different From here and the inside. So this is actually this inside this is outside so yeah let's see how it turns out when I add the straps so this is the strap um, that I'm going to attach to the bag so it's one long strap and you I cut it in half so there's two and then one's on this side and one's on the other side this is basically the studs to connect them, so.